With Rally Eep set to make its first appearance on the World Rally Championship calendar, it's a good time to take a look at one of Belgium's most famous exports, Thierry Neuville. Since making his WRC debut back in 2009, Neuville has been a contender for stage wins, rallies and even the overall championship title. So let's cast our eyes back over his career and explore Neuville's evolution in the WRC. In 2010, the 21-year-old Thierry Neuville competed in the Junior World Rally Championship. And while rounds one and two didn't go to plan, the third round of the series in Bulgaria on asphalt, everything came together and Neuville won his first JWRC event. Neuville's potential had not gone unnoticed. In 2012, Citroën signed him to drive selected rallies for their junior team. But again, his season began badly. Retirement one after the other, his best result coming in France, where he led the WRC class for the first time and eventually finished the rally in fourth. He joined the Qatar World Rally Team for the 2013 season, driving a Ford Fiesta RS WRC. Gaining experience and becoming more confident, he finally took his first podium finish in Mexico. But better than that, another podium at the season finale, Wales Rally GB, confirmed second place in the championship behind Sebastian Ogier. In 2014, Hyundai returned to the World Rally Championship and signed Neuville as their lead driver. Who remembers the unforgettable scenes at Rally Germany when he rolled spectacularly through the vineyards during shakedown? Incredibly, the car was repaired and Neuville started the rally, turning the nightmare into a dream when he took both his and Hyundai's first victory in the WRC. 2014 proved to be a memorable year. The Belgian also confirmed his third place finish in Mexico when, desperate to replace the coolant with any liquid available, he used a giant bottle of beer to top up the damaged and leaking radiator. In 2016, Neuville began what would become a four-year streak of finishing runner-up in the Drivers' Championship. Despite a slow start to his campaign, a strong second half of the season saw five podium finishes from the final five events. In 2017, another strong second half of the year saw him remain right in the title fight, but Sebastian Auger's pace would prove unstoppable and the Belgian was runner-up once again. Heading into 2018's Rally Australia, Neuville, Auger and Oit Tanak all had a chance to win the championship, but a series of small mistakes early on cost him, eventually ripping a wheel off the car and retiring from the rally, second best for the third time in a row. His first victory of 2019 came in Corsica, but what followed two rallies later in Chile was one of the worst offs of his career. After misjudging a fast crest, Neuville's Hyundai was pitched into a series of barrel rolls, an extremely aggressive accident, but thankfully no major injuries were sustained. On to Spain, and Oitanak was now very much in control of the championship situation. All Neuville could do was win the rally and hope for a problem for Tanak. While he managed to wrap up the win, Tanak's second place finish was enough to secure the Estonian's first championship title. Neuville second once again. The silver lining was Hyundai did claim the manufacturer's title. It was a dream start to 2020, winning the legendary Rally Monte Carlo for the first time in his career. But as championship leader, he had to open the road in Sweden and that cost him he only managed sixth overall. Sardinia came next and while Danny Sordo won the rally, Neuville and Ogier were going head to head for second place, with the Belgian eventually getting the job done by just one second. The season closer in Monza and on paper Neuville could still win the championship, but it was very much an outside chance. In any case, his fate was sealed when he retired from the rally early on and watched Sebastian Auger go on to take his seventh driver's title. While Neuville eventually finished 2024th, his work was not in vain. Hyundai once again taking the manufacturer's championship crown. 
With his vast experience and ability to pull out some spectacular results when the odds are against him, it's not hard to imagine that there's more to come from the Belgian, especially on home turf. The question is, can he stitch it all together to finally become a World Rally Champion?